Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. We're going to get into a video by Hayley Comet. Um, and this one's called Jay Slater, who was in the second car at the Airbnb. And I do think this is quite crucial um, with the case. We don't know who the driver was. Um, Lee Tabera is um, said to be, his name keeps coming into it um, amongst it all. And also Tom Hilton as well did when Jay was still missing that says video footage indicates that Jay and his companions arrived at the apartment during the early hours of Monday morning approximately one hour later another vehicle arrived at the same location and remained there for 30 minutes and this is on the cameras in between 6 a.m. and 7 30 on Monday the 17th of June so that would be the iron Rocky and the mystery friend along with Jay got to the Airbnb around 6 a.m. And at seven o'clock, another car arrives at the Airbnb and stays there for 30 minutes. Now we know that once this started being talked about, I have updated his version of events to include three weird people, one I think had a wheelbarrow, who knocked on the door and asked him to move his car, Ophelia being one of them. And then he quit. But where are the evidence of those people, those witnesses, who'd apparently knocked a bay up to move his car? And Rocky said he slept in the car. So what time did Rocky, he never ever said what time he got himself up to bed if he got himself out of the car. Because if someone was sleeping in the car, you know, wouldn't you knock him up to actually move it? It just doesn't make sense why they knocked the door if, if Rocky was already in the car. Unless Rocky moved himself indoors by then before um, these neighbours uh, came to knock him up to move the car. That just doesn't make sense to me in Abe's story and Rocky's. He quickly moved his car. When he's removing the, moving the car, he looks in his rear view mirror and he sees Jay walking off in the wrong way, but neglects to tell him he's going the wrong way. Um, and that's during the time when Jay speaks to Ophelia and she's doing all the hand movements um, and all of that. Now, it seems a weird amount of time to park outside someone's house is the 30 minutes if all you're doing is asking them to move the car so you can go past, in my opinion. And I think the very important thing here is who actually was in that second car? Was it someone coming to collect Jay? Was this the plan all along? That I and Rocky are just the middle guys, they get Jay back to the mountainous area where no one is likely to see an exchange. We also know that Mark Williams Thomas has spoke about the fact that Jay actually was scared and so I just want to make a point in which he said the only people that were actually coming back to the Airbnb was it had to be very important for those people in the second car um, to converse with Ayup and Rocky who he was ever there but um, people dis, um, you know, dismaying that Rocky was ever there. Um, so, it, it, you know, could have Tom Hilton been already there? Because obviously the picture in the back of the car was supposed to be Jay Slater. We think that was um, Tom Hilton. Let me know what you think. Do people actually think that was Tom Hilton in the back of the car with the sunglasses on uh, playing as Jay? And was it Brad that was doing the walk um, instead of Jay and Ophelia got confused or was Ophelia told to do that? Um, there's so many um, conflicting stories um, about this and this is what this makes this case so weird and unique because there's so many red flags in this case it's really strange there may have been something where somebody has knocked on the door someone from Jay's past someone Jay's got a reason to be worried about and that means Jay takes actions to protect himself. Now we do know those actions were to pick up two knives in the Airbnb, orange handled knives, that were still in the Airbnb when the cleaner come after I have left. So at some time, Jay no longer had those knives. That would be my guess that whoever came in that second car actually is the key to solving Jay's case. Wow, that's deep. That is really, really deep. What I wanna do is just, I'm just gonna quickly go over um, to, um, MWT about the two knives because it's been quite a while we've actually talked about it because obviously I think this is pretty crucial um, 
I think if Tom Hilton was there, it could have been another um, person involved, Lita Barreras. Um, name has come up as well. And his sons in recent time in being over there when Jay was over there. So many names actually mentioned um, in this case. Okay, we're just going to move on to MW2 about the knives because it's good to refresh ourselves. Like I said, I do think, moving on to part two, I do think it was Ayup that said that Jay was scared and had two knives on it. Mark Thomas did mention Jay um, being scared, but he didn't mention two knives. Let's listen to this. We've received information that would suggest that Jay left the rental property feeling scared and he would not return to the rental, even though that would have been the most sensible course of action and also where he could have charged his phone, got some water and made contact with friends. We continue to investigate this aspect. Isn't it funny that um, Lucy, uh, Brad and Brandon didn't explain one, uh, you know, one of their, con you know, any of their conversations in talking to um, Mark Thomas, the private investigator. It actually makes you think who was the one that was telling Mark um, all these things. We have, however, ruled out hostage kidnapping situation because no credible ransom demand has been made. And we have no evidence at this stage to say there was a third party criminal involvement in Jay's disappearance. However, there are still a number of outstanding actions and therefore we still remain open minded to the possibility of this changing. The evidence is that Jay walked off from the rental, walked for about 30 minutes and then sent his location at 0849 and 0850. And we know that he was at that stage off the road on a track with loose stones. And we have that fixed as a location on GPS. And I want to make an appeal for landowners in the area of Tino Rural Park to check any outbuildings and land that they have in the hope that further searches will continue by volunteers in the area not yet searched. That was, yeah, um, some of the reports, one of the reports from um, Mark Thomas um, Williams, the PI who was out there um, trying to look for Jay Slater. I would like to know him who gave him all this um, information because obviously I think um, I would said Brad Brandon and Lucy at this stage were running scared and so probably talking to him in a very panicked way that he they got in touch with him and had to get their stories right because obviously everything that Mark's told us um, Lucy's told us in a roundabout kind of way and Brad as well um, so they were obviously the main two people that were giving um, Mark Thomas this information. Let me know what you think, people. I'm just going to find, see if I can find Ayup's video about the two knives. So we move on to part three, and this was Ayup um, on about apparently, apparently, Jay had two knives on him. This is interesting the way he explains this. Let's get straight into it. I was at the Airbnb because I went upstairs, opened the cupboard, grabbed it and said, here you go, mate. So stop. No, I ain't getting no money from it all, actually, mate. Do you know what I mean? But we're stand up guys, bro. We got coin before all of this, like, do you know what I'm saying? Look, I'd rather be rich than famous, got stitched by the pigs and put on all the papers, do you know what I'm saying? Big up Tunde. So did he take <laughs> what? Bro, like in it, like comments are actually mad. Oh bro. Like everyone asking why was he scared? I don't know why anyone is scared, bro. Like I don't know what's going through his head, like. Do you know what I'm saying? If, apparently he had knives on him, like if anything, I was in danger. Like, where's my Apparently he had knives on him. So that apparently, why I brought up the first time round is because 
you either saw them, Ape, or you didn't. Apparently, he had knives on him. So did he hear it um, from Mark, the detective? So that's why he actually brought it up. Because, obviously, he would have known if he asked. You know, in a city, in, in, in a scenario, Jay was scared, or oh, he had knives in him. He didn't say that. So he's saying it as though someone else has is, is said that to him. So he's getting a story from somebody else. Ayub. I'm fucking, do you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you even on about? Like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm the idiot that put my name on it. Do you know what I mean? Because if I didn't, I wouldn't be up on all of this. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Vicky, you seem genuine. It's because I am a girl. Like, I don't need nothing to hide. I'm not a trapper, yo. Yeah, why did he have knives, Sammy? Like, that's what I'm thinking, like. Like, why did he have it, have knives? Do I know Lucy? I know her a little bit. I know her through my friends, like, do you know what I mean? Do you know something? He didn't actually say that um, Jay had knives. So, like I said, he's heard that um, from someone and just mentioned it. But it seems like to me he didn't actually see Jay with the knives because he said apparently... So that's just telling me is that he's heard something and and, and just gone along with that um, scenario. And yet, you know, he said he got Jay a blanket and he was calm. And, you know, he walked off normal, which is quite odd at the end of the day, because we know that Jay in the club was a bit of a state. And we saw that visually. I know through my friend, like, I had like a couple of interactions with her. I saw her at... NRG Zanadu, she said hello, she was with my mate. Where else did I see Lucy? I see you're not on the strip. She said hello, Lucy, all right? It's normal conversation, isn't it? Like, we're not like mates and that. And the last time I was, like, she come to my house, not only that, like, this is another thing you lot don't know. Me, Lucy, and Rocky, and one of my other mates, we was out at night looking for him, grabbing the Spanish mounting police and saying come with us this is the last location do you know what I'm saying like do you know what I mean like we was actually doing bits but you lot don't know that do you know what I'm saying you're quick to fucking point thing but the thing is then you say that but what we wanted to do give us a timeline you Lucy Brandon who's never said anything Brand yeah they've talked to the national news and that is it's, it's as though they've um, are told not to talk to anybody else. Maybe there is a, uh, another investigation going on that the public don't know about. But you, as a 31-year-old man, could give us a timeline of when you went out there, times, you know, dates. That will help us a lot at the end of the day. It does seem genuine in, 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 in what you're saying, but there's no timeline. So how can we believe in what you're saying you know, give us some time to actually go on. This is what a lot of the experienced YouTubers have been looking to this case once, to be honest with you, at the end of the day. We're not saying you killed Jay or, but we do think, we, we do think that you know um, something, um, what happened to Jay that night. I truly believe that. Fingers and say, oh, you done this, she done that. Bro, like, leave them alone, like, like, they're actually feeling it, do you know what I mean? Like, they're actually feeling it, do you know what I'm saying? Like, like, everyone's feeling it, like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you lot don't know how I felt the minute he walked, like, walked out and then all of them lot come out and we're in the night time at the side of the mountain shouting, Jay, 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 like, all of that, all of them lot come out of where? Where did they come out? Did they come out of a car? Did they come out of the B&B? What night was it? What time was it? Was it a morning or night? It's very, very crucial. It's like I said, Lucy, I am uh, very vague about um, giving inf giving true information which could, which could help us narrow what happened to Jay. Do you know what I'm saying? There's like a guilt in you thinking like, Bro, if I knew he was gonna walk, I would have said, bro, fucking chill out, like, you're not walking nowhere, do you know what I mean? But then I would have been told, oh, you had him busted, so. You know what I'm saying? You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Like. 
Turn on Morticus, yeah. I love you too, guys. Adam Blake, there wasn't a doorbell. How do you know? Well, it weren't a doorbell, it was actually a buzzer, but how do you know they weren't there, bro? Like, you weren't, you weren't there, bro. Like, I was, you weren't. Like, so what are you on about, bro? Like, no, like, this Adam guy is out saying he's wearing a doorbell, like, what? The thing is, is that when people ask crucial questions, it makes me think that um, it gets a bit het up in that people are asking real questions and wants true answers. But most of the stuff he said, he's, he, he, he's basically clever in himself, which is fair enough, but he's not given any timeline. You know what I'm saying? Where is the blanket? I left it in the fucking Airbnb. Well, he left it on the sofa for more. Do you know what I'm saying? And I left it on the sofa, like, I have to say, look, that's where he last was. That's his blanket. Me gone. Do I run a coffee shop? No, nah, you know, I don't, like, like, I helped out in that, but I don't run a coffee shop, like, I mean, like, it's a good coffee shop as well, so if you want to get yourself down there, go in there, right? Say you find out through this life and you get a free membership. You're done, no, the done, no. So that was Ayup um, going live um, quite some months back there. Um, but like I said, um, nothing's credible in really what he says. And it just puts himself um, out of the situation. And, you know, like I said, I don't think he even saw the two knives. And I think that was just made up. And I think that he's probably heard from Lucy or Brad that Mark's been in touch and then that information was fed uh, to Ayup. But I just think it's a smoke screen. Let me know what you think, people. And don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. Thank you.